Coach Matt Dunn, 74 72. Can you talk about that wild ending day? Tie it in a half court shot. Hemsley wins it on a three pointer at the buzzer in overtime. Yeah, it was a great, great high school basketball game. We didn't finish the fourth quarter very well. I guess we didn't finish overtime very well either, but sometimes when you have a great player, they, he bails you out, and that's exactly what Jeremy did. I mean, if you talk about that game, you had every right to lose that game down the end and to win it like that. What's it like to win a game in front of a home crowd the way you did? You know, I guess it's a good and a bad thing, but we played a lot of close games where the other team made runs at us. I think one of our greatest strengths as a team is we're pretty even keeled. We don't get too emotional one way or another. Uh, and I thought that helped us, but obviously we got, you know, we had a great player make a great play. You are only a sophomore, but what you're doing here at Damien, this magic now. Can you talk about that game winner at the buzzer right now to win the game? Coach set up a play for, for me to drive and kick it, but I told I told Jared out of the time out that I wasn't gonna let us lose and I was gonna take the last shot. I wanted the last shot. Can you talk about the way they tied it? It had to be heartbreak. I mean they came all the way back. What was going through your head? When he hit that shot, I, it, it was a devastating shot, but I knew we were gonna pull out, I know we were gonna pull out the win at the end. Hey Jeremy, your coach said the state playoffs are, are icing on the cake. You guys didn't play tonight like it's icing on the cake. You played like you want to see how long you can extend this season. Yeah, man, we weren't we weren't ready for season to be over at all. We they, this this is what we live for. We we want to continue to keep playing. Very good. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, you're just adding to that legacy here, kid. You know, switch day. Three pointer number ten by Shannon.